Hello Divine Masculine and welcome to your power message for Sunday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. So I'm going to bring in two decks of cards for you today. We're going to bring in the Twin Flame Soulmate Secrets Edition to get into your heart and bring some secrets out. And we're also going to use some Crystal Tarot. And it's really powerful because yesterday you were getting off your chest just how you feel. Saying to your feminine, I am absolutely 110% in love with you. And if you've been seeing the number 1010 or if you've been seeing that around, it's a reminder of your power. This card just jumped straight on the camera. Wow, these cards are flying everywhere. Amazing. So... These are the cards coming through here, but I feel this one is the main message. And then the rest are either clarifying cards for that message or things you're working through or dealing with or wanting your feminine to know. And what do the angels want you to know today? Thank you, thank you. So a few cards coming out, taking off anything I feel is I'm guided to. Let me just connect with these cards. I feel these are coming out too. Yeah, that's it then. Okay, let's do this. So first card, most important card, you're so healing for me. Isn't that beautiful? So you know that when you're with your family and your life works better, you feel calm. You feel like you've come home. You feel like you can achieve anything, do anything, be anyone. You feel strong. You feel strong in the presence of your divine family. And that's healing. So you're saying to your family today, you're so healing for me. You're good for me in so many ways. I feel healthy and happy and joyful in your presence. So family's cross-watching. If you're wondering how your masculine really feels about you, they feel so calm in your presence. And that's how love should be. That's how love is in union. So you're saying you're so healing for me. And also because, you know, if you're going through any stress or anything you're struggling with, your feminine's light and love brings a healing power in. It's like a healing elixir that helps you to feel free. So you're saying you're what's healing for me. Everything else feels toxic to me. So you're saying I've actually been detaching from the karmic partner or the karmic energy or situation regardless of how things seem. So you're really understanding now from your life experiences, the situations you are in and what you've been going through, that anything that isn't healing to you doesn't feel very good. And you know what you need to heal and deal with to be free. And you're saying, I regret the karmic being around. And he says, I regret bringing the karmic around. But I'm feeling this is you regret being around the karmic partner or you regret the karmic partner being around all the karmic energy. So really what you're saying to your feminine is you're the healing elixir for me. Everything else is a bit toxic and I'm working out how to move on, how to be free, how to set boundaries down. And they're giving me free. Be yeah, they're giving me fear. You want to be free. So there's fear around feeling free because you're saying, I feel like the karmic partner or the karmic energy is trying to manipulate people, those close to me so that they may like her or him better or see me as the bad guy. They give me a lot of fear around this because maybe today you're spending time with family members or you're around certain people. So maybe you've got to go somewhere with the karmic partner or you're bringing them around somewhere and you're thinking, I wish I hadn't done that. I wish that I hadn't got myself in this situation in the first place. And this person may be trying to manipulate and make you look bad. And that's because they sense that you're about to walk away or change something or bring up something. So they're trying to bring in a fear-based energy. So you shut yourself back down or you don't go there. But you're saying, I feel like a karmic partner right now or someone you're around. It could be a boss. It could be anything you're going through is trying to manipulate you. And you regret being around that person. And that's why you're detaching from that. Because you're saying to your feminine, you're the one that's healing me. And you're the one that's so healing for me. You're the one. So you have to trust your ability to make a decision. And you're saying, I am making a strategic decision right now. I am working things out. I'm finding that plan and putting it into place. So I feel more balanced. And I'm going to make the best possible decision with calm and clarity. So you know that you need to be more balanced in your mind to make the right choice at the right time with less drama. 
And you're saying to your feminine, I don't want there to be drama around you because you're the healing energy. There's drama around me and everything I'm going through. I don't want to pull you into that because you're my light. You're the sunshine. You make everything better. You heal me. And you are optimistic and you are starting to appreciate your feminine and everything that you have. So you're becoming more of a grateful person through this connection. And you're now seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. You're focusing on the light. And anything that's dragging you into darkness doesn't feel very good. Again, it's a lot like when we're in the garden and we are maybe sunbathing or maybe you are sitting there catching some sun and it feels lovely, it feels healing, it feels warm, it feels nice. It feels like you don't want it to ever end. And then a big dark cloud comes over and takes it away. And that's how it feels when you're in your karmic relationship or how you feel when you go home after you've been at work or when you're going back to something you know you need to leave. So you're ready for these changes, you're ready to make decisions and you're ready for a breakthrough. So you're saying, I am ready for a breakthrough to success. And this is also decisions flowing in as we move towards September because you don't want conflict anymore. You don't want to be dragged into gossip or problems. You know you want to stand your ground and stand up for who you are and what you believe in and what you are working towards to find peace. I am now looking for peace. And I want to open my heart to you and tell you how I feel. I know that you, you are the right person. You're waiting until I'm ready. So really what you're saying to your feminine is, thank you for waiting for me. You're the right person and I know that you are. And I'm so grateful that you're waiting for me. You're waiting until I'm ready. So in other words, it's about you knowing it has to occur at the right time. And you're also remembering and treasuring the things that have happened with your feminine in the past. So you're saying I totally intend to make up for the past. So this is again a powerful day because at the beginning of the week, you've been working through all your insecurities and all of your anxieties and all of your fears around coming back into your feminine's life. Even about walking away from the karmic partner or changing things because you were going over and over and over all the bad things, all the toxic things, all the painful things, all the things that you've done that cause pain. And then you went through a turning point in the middle of the week by sending love energetically to your feminine. And that resulted in you saying at the weekend, I'm so in love with you. I'm just so absolutely head over heels, magnetically, powerfully in love with you. And you now know what you need to do. So you're saying, I'm so sorry that I've let this karmic partner come around, come around you or come around us. And I've been detaching anyway. I don't like the way she treats me or you or anyone else. You're the one that's healing me. So your twin is saying, you know, this is to the feminines. They don't want to drag you into this. So masculines, you know that you've been protecting your feminine by shielding yourself and shielding them. Even keeping arm's length away from your feminine so that they don't get dragged into this drama. Because if this person is trying to manipulate things and cause problems, you don't want your feminine's light to be tarnished by that darkness. So you're saying to your feminine today, please trust my ability to make the right decision. Remember and treasure all the moments that we've shared together, 5D and 3D. You're the right person for me and I'm so grateful that you're waiting for me until I'm ready. Well, I am ready to stand my ground and fight for what I want and be with you and find peace. I'm ready for a breakthrough to success. And I am feeling more optimistic about my life and I'm appreciating you and all the good that I have. And I'm finding the best decision and the best way to move this forward in a very calm, strategic way. So you know what you're doing, you know where you're going and you know how to do it. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.